Welcome to the Funky Fresh Garden Show with yours truly, the Grow Goddess, here on KYGT The Goat, 102.7. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Our show is intended to connect growers and gardeners with industry experts and their expert advice. My goal is to inspire people to be interested in not only the things that they ingest, but how to grow them themselves. Uh, we take calls for your gardening questions via phone line at 303-567-567. 4628 or um, you can always message us on our Facebook page if you haven't already go and check that out that's facebook.com slash the funky fresh garden show in studio with me today is Shane he's a well-educated farmer with a wide array of technical knowledge uh, he owns his own consulting firm here in Colorado and he joins me as my co-host and today we actually planned on having a guest in studio. He wasn't able to make it, but he will still be able to um, call in, and we'll still be able to do the interview that way. So Chris from Joe Citron will be here. Uh, basically, tonight's show is for the big boys, all you uh, up-and-coming growers that uh, want to learn something. This is a, a good time to do it. Uh, some real technology being applied and learn the ins and outs of it. Uh, we see the drastically changing market and its transition towards commercialization. Um, it's definitely that commercialization is going to include these types of automated dosing and watering systems. And the technology we're talking about is this automatic irrigation specifically fertilizer injector systems so these systems are going to take a water line and uh, measure a set amount of fertilizer as the water flows through it to give the proper feeding consistently throughout the irrigation system this is our, our basic definition obviously we'll have Chris to discuss some of that so we're going to take a quick little break and we're going to get him on the line and we will we'll be right back Welcome back to the Funky Fresh Garden Show here on KYGT The Goat 102.7. This is the Grow Goddess. Today we are talking about the products that are out there that are meant to make a facility run at its highest efficiency, meaning using labor in the places it's needed and technology in places where hands and eyes aren't as crucial, but they can still be monitored, and they still have to be monitored. Uh, when it comes to production labor, it's very expensive, and technology technology can replace labor uh, and in some cases do better than the traditional manual alternative. So we have Chris here on the line. Chris, can you hear us? I, I can. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, thank you for taking some of your time out for us. Uh, this is really cool uh, product out there. I've kind of been searching around and checking out your website and but before we get into that, I kind of want to talk a little bit about you and your background and experience. Okay. Well, I've been in the uh, commercial horticulture business for about 12 years. I started um, at a greenhouse picking up flats. Um, I walked into a greenhouse uh, with actually now my wife and her father owned a greenhouse. I walked into it and fell in love. I never, I haven't turned back since. So. Um, started, uh, I kind of at the bottom worked my way up to uh, growing and then I spent about um, at different greenhouses but I spent about four years in the growing um, realm of things and anywhere from growing uh, commercial bedding plants your typical flowers you buy at mm -hmm. home, uh, home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Walmart all the way up to um, growing hydroponic tomato starters and hydroponic tomato finish so um, have you know had quite the the experience in that, and it was great for putting me into my next job, which was uh, I spent seven years um, at Cherry Creek Systems, which is a a company that uh, supplies automated irrigation equipment to commercial growers. Okay. So I'm very familiar with irrigation automation. And then uh, in January, um, I decided to come to Dosatron because they had an opening, and uh, I had some known some people that have worked there so it's uh it's worked out very very well for me well that's awesome you do have a lot of different experience it's kind of cool that you have that outdoor flowers and then indoor vegetables and it really all adds up it does. quite the knowledge base for sure well because they're very yeah, different 
Yeah, all those crops are very different, and, and you know, we talked about growing plugs uh, for tomatoes versus finishing tomatoes is extremely different, and, you know, most propagators are hard to find, so he's definitely yeah. uh, got some skills under his belt. Some people just can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, go it, ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, and it's, um, it's actually, I look back in hindsight, and I'm able to see that... Um, you know, everything in life happens for a reason. So, um, to come to Dosatron with all that experience is definitely uh, quite the blessing. So I feel, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. I'm I'm a lucky guy. Well, cool. One thing I really want to mention um, about the Dosatrons is that there's so many. When I looked it up, there's so many different styles, so many different models, and um, not only it's not even just mainly for the horticulture industry. Um, can you talk about some of the different industries that it's sure. also involved in? Absolutely. Well, Positron was really started by a veterinarian um, back in France. And uh, the veterinarian wanted to find a, an easier way to medicate large uh, groups of animals. So uh, especially when antibiotics and things came on to the market, that was, um, that was something that this veterinarian wanted to be able to master produce and be, go out to farms, which at that time didn't have a whole lot of uh, a large infrastructure for electrical and all these other things. So um, it was really developed around a need for something water uh, driven mm-hmm. that's going to mix uh, a very concentrated product with water. Um, and so to kind of fast forward to where we are now, um, so we, we kind of got our start in livestock, believe it or not, but obviously very quickly. Um, horticulture became a very large uh, market for us. I mean, simply because you're mixing water with something, right? And yeah. we need water to grow plants. Right. So because of that, uh, it has allowed us to really expand into horticulture, and now horticulture is really um, our top market. So with that said, um, horticulture <laughs> has uh, continued to expand. The word horticulture, um, every few years really takes on another group um, and as the grow local um, and eat healthy you know mindset has mm-hmm. really started to take over in America it's really gained um, a lot of perspective for people to try to grow their own food or smaller groups of people coming together and trying to provide food for a community or a group mm-hmm. um, and then therefore what that has done for us is brought a product like ours to the forefront because these guys, they, there's not a lot of money for the for the actual infrastructure of the company, for the labor, for, for the time and effort it takes to sit and mix uh, small batches of nutrients. Now they, they put a dosatron in and it really have, um, allows them to push, uh, you know, a large group of plants, or grow, I should say, a large group of plants very simply. Um, and so, yeah. Dosatron itself has definitely been uh, around the block, and we've we've been through all kinds of industries. Yeah, you guys definitely uh, have quite a background and have been around for a long time. And, you know, that kind of brings us to the topic. You you look at our more complex horticulturalists, these these complex growers. Um, these systems not only allow the automation of watering as far as, you know, like Chris is talking about, but specifically delivering the exact amount of nutrients to the same to each plant. You know, that mm-hmm. that really takes the, the human error out of the daily hand watering that we see a lot of the guys in Colorado doing. You know, it also provides a, a more uniform crop. Uh, Chris, you, you have you, do you guys have any personal data or statistics or anything you want to expand on this? You know, as far as uh, data and statistics on, let's say, how a dosatron um, and using a dosatron would um, increase yields over your typical hand watering, I think most of it's going to go to this point, which is, so, so to say that I have a whole list of, of information where we've said we've produced 20% more on this guy's crop than what he was doing before. Right. The, uh, the main reason we don't have, have not accumulated that information is because once people get into it in an automated dosing uh, system, it's like it, it's always been there. So exactly. Nobody wants to look at in hindsight. So exactly. it's kind of hard to say if we have exact details on that. But what I can tell you is from experience and seeing people that have gone from something where they're using 
um, a very inferior product that might somewhat mix nutrients with water, or they're literally, really with a with a measuring cup or a teaspoon, teaspoon by teaspoon, mixing it up. I tell you, I've done large batches. Um, I used to do a trial, work at a trial part of a of a, a right. tomato facility, Test house. and we did very small batches. And holy mackerel, you'd be surprised at how many times I personally can admit to going. Did I put one or did I put three in there? <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. We all so, do that. Yeah, I mean, we've all done it, right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Especially if you get you get you get interrupted or you get something happens in the middle of it, and now you got to come back to it. It's, right. It's a cluster. <laughs> so, really, the way that. Um, that I would like to expand on that is to say that uh, Dosatron takes the guesswork out of nutrient blending. And our whole goal is to completely eliminate the idea that somebody has to sit with a calculator Mm -hmm. and actually figure out day by day how their feeding program works. Exactly. So we want to, we want to bring, yes, the human error out of it, but we also want to take the, the people that would be responsible for doing that and put them somewhere else where they're much more valuable. That grower, to be out there spotting for pests, spotting for diseases, mm-hmm. and figuring out right. where what he can do to his crop to better that right. crop or better his yield, Not way more about. valuable than sitting there and mixing a little bit of nutrient here and there. Right. Um, and it's much more insurance than just hiring um, you yeah. know, somebody that exactly. that's their responsibility to mix nutrients yeah. because right. that person is human as well. Absolutely. Well, another really cool thing about it is that it um, it's not going to use electricity. So it's actually running off that water flow. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that works? Absolutely. Yeah, so um, because it's, it's all water powered, um, the beautiful thing is is that people that don't have access to electricity. Yeah, they may have an electric powered pump somewhere way down line um, in a head house or something. Uh, they're able to run that, that water to the um, doser and actually blend nutrients right there, very simply, very basically, um, without, without a lot of thought process. So what that does is, yeah, it allows the, the concept of off the grid. And actually, we do have a guy um, built a place up in the mountains here in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Um, and put a gravity feed system in, has a 500-gallon tank um, that he collects runoff from uh, a local stream or, um, or river or whatever you'd call it, mm-hmm. and then he brings in that water and then also collects rainwater. Um, he also has developed some, some really neat um, no, you know, solar-powered systems that, that take evaporative water as it comes off the evaporative cooler he built and yada yada kind of mixes mm-hmm. all this water in he's completely off the grid guy has no electricity of course he's got a generator backup for right. um for any emergencies but the guy is 99 percent off the grid and uses those citrons on a regular basis to feed his crop so that's that's a pretty cool thing for us yeah. to be able to say yeah that's uh, an awesome sounding facility absolutely you know and especially in the day and age where i think a lot more of us are starting to look at um, yeah. look at how we impact the world um, with every step we take and I, and I think it's important that you know we you know that we have that capability so in my experience you know using these dosetrons I've personally used them for maybe 10 years or so you know they they do have problems from time to time but realistically if you look sure. at the dosetron compared to the other injectors it's really actually easy to take apart and fix and you know, just order the replacement parts. I mean, do you, do you guys have any, you know, recommendations on maintaining these things? And what, what kind of things would you say to that? That's a great question. Um, and absolutely, no, no mechanical device is without failure. It's just not. It works um, based on friction. It works based on um, a motion, uh, you know, the motion of the water moving this, this, this piston up and down and drawing the product up. Um, and because of that, and essentially, maybe this is a good time to kind of quickly go over how a dustron works. The water comes in, it moves a piston uh, up and down by opening and closing uh, small valves um, as the action of the, the piston goes up and down, and it literally sucks that product up like a syringe uh, with, a, with a, like, if you will, like a rubber grommet, a thick rubber grommet. So working like a syringe, um, that, that allows that product obviously be pulled up and blended into the water as it passes 
Well, what that means is we have we have wear parts. We've got friction going on. We have wear parts. So those wear parts are very inexpensive to replace. And one of the great things about Dosatron and one of the wonderful things about being a part of this team um, is that they've spent so much time in service. And we have an entire YouTube channel as well as videos on our website that walk you through the entire process from pulling the first part, pulling the, the suction hose off of your uh, doser, all the way through to pulling it apart, cleaning it, putting it back together, putting the fresh steel kit on it um, to make it just seamless. You can literally walk through step by step on a YouTube video. That same YouTube video is, is available in a printable um, a, a printable type where you can actually print the whole entire thing out, take it out into the field, and so you've watched the video, you remember the steps as they go, and you can literally look at pictures piece by piece. So because of how Dosatron has focused a number one um, priority being service to the customer, it allows it to be a lot easier for guys like me to provide service because now I just I can send somebody to a YouTube video um, if they're in a time crunch. Of course, I can walk them through it over the phone, right. but to see something visual, right. I think that's, well, that's I watched human just, nature. Just the one video that, w that takes it apart yeah. piece by piece, and that was a super cool video. It really so was. I didn't even know. I'll have to check out the YouTube YouTube stuff. Yeah. But that it's video itself cool. made it so clear to me. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Good. I love to hear that. And you know, that, that kind of partially answers my next question, but I'll definitely let you see if you can expand more. But we, we do see a, a lot more of these computerized injector systems, especially like in the hobby market locally. You know, we're seeing a lot of guys trying to you know, dose nutrients, but what would you say to a, a, a decent sized grower that was looking at buying, you know, one of these cheaper computerized systems versus one of your systems? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, not all of them are cheaper. Um, True. There's, you know, there's been ones that have been in the market I'm familiar with, the commercial horticulture market for years and well, years. Well, yeah, the commercial market's well, definitely Yeah, but as story. far as the hobby market, um, yeah, there's guys coming in with some pretty neat stuff. And, hey, listen, I, I'm, a, I'm a realist as well. If I see something that has value, I'm going to point it out. But one thing I can tell you is that um, based on I, – I would go at, at that person with two things. I'd say, number one, you're dealing with something that has a lot of uh, motorized electrical parts. And, yes, uh, anything mechanical, as I said earlier – is prone to failures. Right. More Anything points, with more electricity risk. and heat buildup when you're dealing with water, yep. even more uh, propensity to, to have failures. And because of that, to me, the first thing I would say to that grower is you're getting away from electrical parts. You're also putting yourself into a uh, unit that you can personally fix yourself. You don't right. have to send it in for repair. Sure, you can. There's plenty of people that well, send it in. We now. have a repair a group that does one. that. But you can fix it all yourself. And now you don't have to buy a new $750 whole entire unit because one little pump went out. Right. Number two, I'd also come back to them and say, hey, listen, we've been doing this 35 years. We continue to improve every year. The reason that people have gone and spent literally, and I'm not kidding, guys, hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to a completely automated system and then after years of trial and error and frustration they turn back to spending four or five thousand dollars for an entire their entire ten acre greenhouse to be filled with dosatron. Right. That to me speaks volumes because what they're saying is, yes, it has every bell and whistle, but at the end of the day, I need something that's going to work. Mm -hmm. And I can't be here on a Sunday when I have nobody else here. And right. all I want to do is turn a couple valves so I can go spend the day with the family, enjoying the sun in the summer. And you're telling me now I've got to mess with this thing and I'm here all day trying to fix my dosing system? Right. No. Right. The, the, so for me, it, it's, it's really two factors. It's about what, what you're dealing with when it comes to service. And number two, that... You, you may think you want every bell and whistle, but let's look at really what's practical because a dosatron was developed to be practical and simple. And really, you're talking about, in most, of, most cases, someone's going to spend a lot less money working with a dosatron system than they will, um, especially if you look at a five-year swath of time, they're going to spend a heck of a lot less with right. a dosatron system and get a lot more 
spend a, a lot more for another system and it, deal with frustration. Sure. Well, that's what we're trying to get through to people. Yeah. That's why you're here, man. We definitely uh, appreciate it. Uh, so if people are, are interested in uh, maybe seeing you guys at a trade show, uh, what kind of w website uh, websites are yours? And uh, what about your YouTube channel? What's that? Sure. So if you go to uh, YouTube and you type in Dosatron International, um, which can be confusing to people because our website is dosatronusa.com <laughs> because international is way too much to write out. <laughs> So we're dosatronusa.com is our website, but our YouTube channel, you'll go and search under Dosatron International. Great. And you'll see under the Dosatron International on the YouTube, you'll see that uh, we've got a whole group of videos. I think we're up to almost uh, 30 videos now. Wow. Nice. Um, yeah. And so there's, there's a lot of information to be had. And the great thing about our website is it's incredibly power, powerful. Anything I have on uh, within my hand to hand to somebody as either a sales or service tool is available on the website so nice. in any given time i've always got that as a um you know i like the human element when it comes to sales i want to be involved i want to work personally with people i want to work personally with stores to educate them show them how to use our product how to sell our product how to service our product but i always it's nice when i'm getting on a plane and i have 15 minutes to try to explain something I walk somebody through it, and then I can give them a link, or I can give them somewhere to go where they can actually walk through and get all that information. So within our website, dosatronusa.com, or on our Dosatron International uh, YouTube channel, anything you're looking for, Dosatron is there. Great, man. Well, we definitely appreciate it. Is there anything else you want to add, anything else we should be aware of? You know, uh, we're going to go, and you want to ask me about trade shows. We are, we, we do, um, we're doing all of the maximum yield um, indoor gardening expos this year. Um, that's really been our, our uh, focus this year for the indoor market. And so um, those of you that, uh, please feel free to call me or uh, look me up on, on uh, LinkedIn or any of that stuff. But you can also email me at any given time at chris.lundgren, L-U-N-D-G-R-E-N, at dosatronusa.com, and I'd be more than happy to answer questions, I'd be more than happy to go through stuff with people, and if people know of trade shows we need to be going to, hey, man, I'd love to know about it. Great, man. We'll yeah, definitely uh, let you on. know about some of the upcoming shows then. All right. Well, Chris, thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time tonight to educate us on, you know, something that I, although has been around a long time, I think is still new to this upcoming commercial indoor facilities in Colorado specifically. So it's sure. good to get it out there and let people know that they don't have Absolutely. to hand water anymore. <laughs> hey, no, and that's just it. Hey, that's maybe the other thing we didn't cover. Don't forget, you can always hook our system up to a completely automated drip system. Get away from hand watering. Throw those milk jugs away. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. At least it's buckets. <laughs> right on, Chris. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Welcome back to the Funky Fresh Garden Show here on KYGT The Goat 102.7. We had a couple, a little technical difficulty. We pushed a button. Yeah, it happens. I think we figured it out. It's a studio, <laughs> you know. So obviously we don't have um, Chris on the line anymore, but But no, a what question. an amazing guest. Very yeah. technical, and he's he's definitely willing to help people and spread well, just the word. a lot of knowledge. It's a wide array of knowledge. Some a lot of people specialize in one or the other. Yeah, he pretty flowers, much covers vegetables, it all. indoor, outdoor. Yeah, and it sounds like those trons got quite the array of videos to mm -hmm. cover everything. Well, when I saw it, was pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna get on there, and check it out. Well, one of the questions we had was as a small a hobby gardener is there a dosatron for me and you know does it is it worth it for them as far as mixing amount well, of time to I mean, mixing you kind of have to look at the amount of work you want to put into it realistically dosatron does make an option for every small size you can imagine they yeah. i think the smallest one they make is like a three gallons per minute and i mean realistically yeah you could do like maybe 10 or 15 plants with that quite easily you know feeding them once or twice a day 
you know, so there, there's definitely an option. And I mean, realistically, you know, one of the kind of added details to that is, yeah, you may be feeding your plants once or twice a day, but you may only be mixing fertilizer every 10 days or two weeks. or you Well, know. after two weeks, you probably don't want that. Anymore. Right. You definitely need to make sure you keep the solution fresh, keep any, you know, problem bacteria and fungal spores out of it. So, so you def it's good to keep clean your tanks regularly and, you know, not run them too long. But, I mean, for... Uh, a low labor garden two weeks you know that's not bad mm -hmm. you know a few hundred bucks and in investment in automatic irrigation you know i mean obviously you know chris definitely made a point that their systems are are quite reasonable if you if you look at what it really is doing for you you know how much do you value your time right well that's such a big thing because i see so many large facilities with hundreds of hand water yeah, Pods. hundreds, hundreds. How can you fully be working at full efficiency with that? Oh, you can't. And, you know, same thing with the mixing. Well, just because you mix this barrel. Right. Just because Joe did it right this time doesn't mean. Right. Doesn't mean Joe's going to do it right And who knows, because you don't have somebody checking it, so. Yeah, I mean. Security. It's, Security. yeah. It's definitely added insurance for, you know, people that are serious about production. All right. Well, that's our show. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to Chris for, for calling in and giving us that time, even though he couldn't make it up here. That was awesome. I uh, hope we taught you something new and inspire you to get growing. So also don't forget to check out our Facebook, um, the GOATS Facebook at facebook.com slash KYGTFM, and then ours at facebook.com slash the Funky Fresh Garden Show. You can stay up to date on everything going on here at the GOAT and on our show. Just give it a little like. Happy growing.